Hi, and welcome back to another video of VPRO360, hopefully describing, explaining, and presenting a great international educational spot uh, within the United States. And today's video is all about the islands of Hawaii. Uh, we're going to be talking about why Hawaii might be a great place for you to uh, begin your international education, why you might want to consider Hawaii in the future, and overall what makes Hawaii such a fantastic place for any international student, let alone tourists that want to travel or even live there. So let's get started and see what makes Hawaii so special, unique, and out of this world. For starters, we have to start by explaining what makes Hawaii so special. And some, here are some quick facts or details or just trivia that not that many people know about when we discuss these Polynesian islands. The first thing to consider is that there are more than, than just the typical six that uh, are habitable. Uh, we have six major islands where most people reside, but the islands of Hawaii are made up of more than hundreds of islands that uh, some allow uh, visitors and others are simply just off limits or too small to maybe have uh, visitors on site. Uh, but it does comprise, um, these islands that kind of stick out are the peaks of a huge mountain range. And it's one of, in fact, one of the largest mountain ranges, underwater mountain ranges in the world on this planet, and which just makes it so much more fascinating when you think of, you know, that's just the peak of something so much bigger underwater. The next thing to consider is, I guess, the facts around Hawaii's exports or even imports. Um, culturally speaking, we know that it's been tied to maybe Asian countries such as Japan, uh, the Polynesian, Philippines, etc. Uh, so there is a lot of you know cuisine culture around these islands. But what many people fail to understand or to remember is that one third of all the pineapple production across the globe is actually coming from Hawaii. So it's a major exporter of pineapples. Uh, it's the only U.S. state that is actually a producer of coffee. There are no other U.S. states that produce this bean. And last but not least, it's also one of the biggest producers of macadamia um, nut in the world. So three quick facts of the exports uh, around Hawaii that just make it such a unique and special place as well. Also, when you look at the, the biodiversity of these islands, it's just amazing. Uh, and it sits by itself, basically, when you compare it to any other U.S. state on the, on the mainland. Um, because it's just so unique and so different. When you look at the marine biology uh, of this, of these, you know, islands, it just is impressive. And that's, you know, tying it back to the educational system. I think that's one of the main reasons students would want to pursue an education in, you know, on these islands in the in the state of Hawaii. And that's because they want to study something connected to marine biology, or even, you know, biology studies, uh, or even. Um, you know, environmentalism, because on the island itself, you also have ranges of biodiversity from, you know, plants to landscapes, uh, you know, with the volcanoes, the eruptions, uh, and the continuous growth of these islands, but also when it comes to the animal presence. Again, very unique, each one from its, from its counterpart. Every island has its uniqueness, has its unique, uh, you know, geographic location and, and temperatures and weather conditions that just create this very unique um, place of, of study because you will be surrounded by the matters at hand. So going back to, to the, the previous comment around education, if you are looking to study something connected to biology, environmentalism, marine biology, for example, uh, there's no better place to study this than, than on the islands of, of Hawaii. When you look at perhaps the business side of things, we have to you know, make a caveat here that Hawaii is a very expensive um, state to live in. When you look at your budget requirements, you must increase that budget if you want to compare it to maybe the national average because you will be spending more money. Um, on average, islands tend to be more expensive already because you do have the cost of imports uh, to maintain that, that um, you know, the household uh, purchases, whether it's food and beverages, but also any type of imports uh, when it comes to manufacturing of goods will need to be imported. So that does elevate the cost of attendance slightly uh, when you compare it to maybe neighboring um, you know, states uh, in, in Nevada or Arizona. You will see higher costs, um, similar I would say to, to the cost of attendance in California as well. 
Another thing to keep in mind, uh, there's a big housing issue as well. Hawaii has seen an increase in population, but it doesn't really have the resources or the land to keep up when it comes to the housing. So uh, if you do have, um, I guess, questions around the housing situation with your university of choice, it's definitely something that you want to jump on quickly because it could lead to uh, later problems down, down the road. Uh, last but not least, if you look at uh, the business side of things, Hawaii is a vibrant state, that there's no, there's no part against that. So if you are interested in any type of international business or a business degree, I would highly recommend Hawaii as well. You have the um, in and outs of a business experience on every island pretty much. Uh, that will you know, give you a, a work experience, an internship opportunity, or even a job once you complete your studies on the business side of things. So if you are interested in, in business and, and why studying a business might be a good idea in Hawaii, it's exactly that. You will be surrounded by um, even bigger companies. There are a lot of uh, companies that have started out of, of Hawaii and have grown into these international hubs. Uh, and that's another reason why you know studying in Hawaii might be a great idea for business. So, kind of summing up those two those two uh, areas of study: marine biology or anything connected to the biology uh, area, as well as business. In my personal opinion, might be great destinations um, for Hawaii. Now, the question remains: What happens if I want to study something else? Is that another opportunity? For sure, there are great institutions in the United States, great institutions on Hawaii specifically, that can cater to your degree program interests. Uh, you will have different universities offering different specialties. Uh, dietetics might be one, um, you know, sports science might be another one. Uh, even when it comes to cultural programs, I think Hawaii might be a great uh, um, place to, to stay. That's history as well. Education is pretty much present at any university uh, as well. And even at a master's level, you're going to have a lot of different master's programs to be able to choose from. So um, don't be you know, discouraged if I'm mentioning perhaps the higher end of these, of these degree choices in business or biology because you for sure certainly have other options to choose from. Uh, but the location is a prime example of a program being put in practice on those two, on those two fields. Um, and when it comes to the social side of things, when studying in Hawaii, uh, I think you know it's pretty well known that island life kind of incurs a slowness to it, right? You you kind of slow down when you're on an island, um, and I think that that kind of permeates into the educational sphere as well. You will be uh, um, uh, experiencing a very relaxed. Uh, study environment, not because it's not pushing you on the study side, but because you have so many other things to do outside of the classroom, right? Uh, if you're an outdoors person, if you like hiking, if you like surfing, if you like uh, swimming, if you like uh, just walking around, if you like exploring other islands, if you like to go on trips, then Hawaii is a great destination for that because you're never going to be bored outside of the classroom. And looking at uh, outside of the classroom, socially speaking, Hawaii is very well known for their community closeness. They want to make sure that their community is interdependent. There is a strong sense of community. So I think uh, people that, that might have difficulties joining new groups or making new friends, Hawaii might be a great place for that as well because you will instantly be surrounded by people that will embrace you even though you're coming from another part of the world. Um, and that's very much, uh, to, to point out a, a quick example of this, even the government, on a government level, um, not too long ago during the pandemic, they had visas specifically for remote workers of other states. Not, not necessarily visas, but, but you know, working permits to, to travel to Hawaii as a US citizen or uh, other parts of the world as well. Um, and they, they would grant this, this visa for you, this work visa in a way, um, but it had a requirement, and one of those requirements, uh, apart from other you know, monetary issues, was also that you had to dedicate an X amount of hours to, almost like community service, to service in, in some way the community. And they did this because they don't want simple, uh, simply more people to come to the island and just have a closed life. They want people to come to the island to be a part of their world, world to be a part of their society. So that's why they added this requirement. I think it's a testament to just the strength 
of the community on the different islands of, of Hawaii. Uh, so going back as a student experience, if you want to be a part of something bigger than just your degree, just your study area, uh, I think Hawaii would be a fantastic place for that. So to kind of sum up, up a few points and to, to wrap up this quick video, uh, Hawaii is very well known as a tourist destination, but if you start looking closer, it has so much more to offer, not just in terms of more islands that might go you know, across, um, um, you know, maybe not, not be so present as the main, main Hawaii island or, or Oahu or, or Kauai. There are other islands to visit. There are great national parks to keep in mind as well and to make sure that you visit them while you're on Hawaii. And on a study level, you're gonna have great programs that will push the boundaries of those areas of study because it's very heavily invested in research uh, as well. So if you're into any of these areas of study or perhaps one outside business or uh, biology, I still encourage you to investigate more and to learn more about Hawaii and why Hawaii is such a special state and makes it so worthwhile. EPRO 360 is an agency that is founded on the idea of helping international students make it in the U.S. and find any possible way to make that happen. If that's something that you need, if you need help and guidance on how to get to the U.S. and pursue that international education that you've longed for and dreamed about so long, then please read the description below. You're going to find a link to a free consultation with an EPRO 360 expert on how to make this journey a reality. Last but not least, if you've liked the content, please smash that like button and hit the subscribe button as well if you want to get notified of all the future content and material, material that we're going to be publishing over the next few months. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time.